This is the worst of the heat wave today, an excessive heat warning at noon. This afternoon, temperatures soar to 100 degrees. You might be hot, but these folks are freezing. They might be the sea spots sometimes. I'm the guy, Ellie. Information about you seems to be everywhere. This is actually the world. A hate crime involving a water balloon. I'm Christy King. Round two of the British Open underway. It's no mystery to Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. To the point where the city had to file the largest municipal bankruptcy in history. One woman wonders what took so long. All the things that they've done in the city, and I'm surprised they didn't go back. What's proud of the with the auto industry has been losing people and businesses for decades and going deeper and deeper in debt. Bankruptcy expert William Perlstein says putting Detroit back on its feet won't be painless. and essential services, but emergency manager Kevin Orr insists life will go on. Our services will remain open, paychecks will be made, bills will be paid. Nothing changes from the standpoint of the ordinary citizen's perspective. Orr says the city owes its creditors as much as $20 billion. George Zimmerman may have to wait to get his gun back. Live to CBS News correspondent Barry Bagnell. The Justice Department has told police involved in the Trayvon Martin shooting investigation to hold all evidence, including the guns Zimmerman used. Our Orlando TV station, WKMG, says a local gun shop has offered him a free weapon. A Florida Capitol sit-in continues to push legislators to revisit the controversial Stand Your Ground law. Governor Rick Scott says... I'm not going to have a special session. Hopefully, the uh, same ground should be changed. He met with protest leaders, Frank. But the blast furnace is still cranking from South Dakota to New England. It's miserable. Feels like I live inside a dog's mouth. The heat wave is expected to break this weekend as cold air moves down from Canada through the Midwest. But first... The temperatures in the mid upper 90s, and combined with the high levels of humidity, we'll see the temperatures feeling like they're going to be from 100 to 105 degrees. The government forecaster Bob Orovec, most states had at least one region where the temperature hit 90 degrees yesterday, and it's been that way all week. The president will go to Russia in the fall, but will he meet with President Putin? Live to CBS News White House correspondent Peter Mayer. Frank, this is all about diplomatic leverage as the White House opens the door to canceling an Obama-Putin meeting planned for early September. Now, President Obama will go to a world summit in St. Petersburg, Russia, but the White House is signaling a previously announced Moscow meeting with Putin could hinge on the outcome of that face-off over NSA leaker Edward Snowden, adding to the tensions White House stated concerns about the conviction of a Putin opponent who, by the way, has now been released on appeal. The wildfire that's menacing homes near Idlewild, California is still only 15% contained. Thousands have evacuated, but Mary Zachar is holding fast. Look, I'm half a mile from the fire station. There's a hydrant right across the street, and I'm too close to town. The ceremony today will mark the anniversary of the Aurora, Colorado movie massacre. A gun club plans a rally at the same location. S&P futures are down a point ahead of the opening bell on Wall Street. This is CBS News. Today's border security report is brought to you by DRS Technologies. A key asset in the U.S. quest to protect the nation's border is Customs and Border Protection's Air and Marine Division. It's the world's largest aviation and maritime law enforcement organization and is a critical component of CBP's layered enforcement strategy for border security. There are 1,200 agents, 268 aircrafts, 289 marine vessels. They're located in 84 locations in the U.S. I'm J.J. Green. DRS is up and running. Monitoring a border is complex. At DRS, we've deployed technology on the Jordanian border. DRS is proven. With desert installations in Egypt, we thrive in the most forbidding terrain. DRS is ready. And in Arizona, DRS is ready with the most advanced technology. We're prepared to support the U.S. Customs and Border Protection IFT program. DRS technology is up, running, and ready to protect the U.S. border. Learn more at DRS.com. Good morning, 704, Friday morning, July 19th. 82 degrees right now, going up to near 100 today. Live from the Glass Enclosed Nerve Center, this is Washington's most listened to radio station, 103.5 WTOP Radio. Here are Mike Moss and Bruce Allen. All right, good morning. It is Friday. I want you to listen closely now. <laughs> Remember when we were all complaining?
complaining about how cold it was back in January as we were scraping the ice off our cars. Well, a little different today. Could be the worst of the heat wave with an excessive heat warning from Newton. It's late. She's coming to my house, I can tell. And temperatures near 100 degrees. It'll feel like 110. Now, that is a potentially dangerous condition outside. So if you do need to be outside, take extra precautions and take frequent breaks. And would you believe on a day like today, some people have to dress like it's winter. You may be sweating, but they're freezing. One step in, you'll start to shiver. I freeze around the summertime is coming out. Employees at Jack and Jill Ice Cream in Howard County are just feet from the scorching heat, but where they work is dangerously cold. The cooler that we went into the first door, we keep at it 35. When you went through the bigger door, we keep at it minus 15. Warehouse manager Mike Dosh. They wear uh, freezer gear. Some of them wear overall the suit. It's good for minus 40. When they head outside, it's a complete change of wardrobe. It's a big difference. They might make you see spots sometimes. But he says it beats soaring temperatures. I don't think I want to work outside this evening. In Howard County, Nick Ionelli, WTOP News. All right, so your question this morning, given the choice, and we're giving you at least the theoretical choice here, would you rather deal with hot humid weather, including the excessive heat today, or snow and icy cold weather? Let us know why or what your thinking is on the WTOP Talkback line at 1-877-222-1035, 1-877-222-1035. Join the conversation. Maybe it'll keep you cool on our Facebook page or tweet using hashtag WTOP. I think I'd take the heat. You hate shuffling.